Hi everyone, welcome to Code Kamka YouTube channel. I hope everybody are doing good. Today's video will be discussing about how to install Qflow on Kubernetes cluster. So for that, I am going to uh, take or I'm going to run Kubernetes installation on Google Kubernetes engine. And uh, you can replicate the same thing on your uh, AWS EKS cluster or Azure Kubernetes cluster or your on-premises Kubernetes cluster. Anywhere you can replicate the same step. So procedure is same. So wherever you have a Kubernetes cluster, you can install the Qflow by following this documentation. And if you like my explanation, I request you to subscribe to my channel and share it to your friends and family members who are willing to learn the latest and upcoming technologies. Now let's jump into the concept. So as I said, uh, we are going to discuss about Kubernetes installation and we have the different way of installation procedure as per the documentation uh, of Kubeflow. The first one, like, you know, we have different uh, installation options. Like, you know, if you click on this, we'll redirect into uh, this installation option. So we can go through, you can read this amazing documentation. So you can go with a bunch of versions of Kubeflow and Kubeflow version pipelines. So yeah. You can go ahead on this. And the first one is the local deployment where you can use it for uh, deploying on your Kubernetes uh, on top of local or uh, like, you know, by using the kind, you can create the uh, cluster with that and you can, you know, deploy the Qflow on top of it. Or if you'd like to create on K3S, you can do that. Or if you have any Windows substation Linux, so you can follow this documentation. Or if you have a Docker desktop, so you can install by following these simple commands. So yeah, we have a dissimilar ways of installing uh, Qflow. And today we'll be discussing about standalone deployment. So this is where you know, we are going to look into the standard deployment where we can follow these commands to you know, install Qflow on GK, Google Kubernetes engine, in short, we call it as a Google uh, Kubernetes cluster. So this is my Kubernetes cluster. I have configured my config now. It's, everything is up and running, and I have connected this uh, Kubernetes cluster via Cloud Shell. And if I do kubectl get pods, I think I don't have anything on my default namespace. Yeah, I don't have any resources on default default namespace. I follow this dag uh, this uh, all commands, so you can replicate the same thing if you are um, you know following me all as per the video. So first one, I'm exporting the Kubeflow version of pipeline. So I'll take it and paste over here. And uh, I'll follow the rest of the commands where I'm applying all the necessary, uh, like, you know, namespaces and all. So it may take a little bit time. Well, as per your internet speed and, you know, you can finish it off uh, as quick as it is. But yeah, this take time to, you know, creating all the resources of Kubeflow and, you know, related to the respected namespace. Now I'm going to mention the Kubeflow wait for conditional. Now it has been created. Now I'm going to apply all the resources on top of it. I'll clear the screen and I'm pasting the same command here. Now this command also will take a little bit uh, lesser uh, time to finish it off. And quick heads up, it's completely depend on your Kubernetes resources, how big is your cluster and how uh, big your resources has been conf configured such as GPUs on top of your Kubernetes cluster and it will create it. Or you can use uh, CPUs also, but it's better practice to use GPUs because we'll be dealing with large data sets, so you require a GPUs to go, you know, handle all your machine learning workflows. It's just a quick heads up. So if you are not following and we'll be seeing some warnings, so you can ignore for time being, it is all related to the cluster level. So you can just ignore on top of it. So once it has been created, so uh, it will take a little while to get all your parts up and running. So initially it will be on pending state. I'll show you. Uh, so, and it will take a little bit uh, amount of time to get uh, all your parts up and running, which means uh, your containers instead of parts up and running. So now it has been um, ran. I'll clear the screen. What I will do, I'll enter kubectl get parts hyphen n is my kubeflow is my uh, namespace where I have installed all these necessary things. Before that, I'll show you, like, you know, this is all the uh, parts are getting pending state now. It will pull all the images from the, uh, you know, official open source from this GitHub link uh, where it have all, all the customization 
YAML file. So from the open source or um, image registry, it will pull all the images and it will get created instead of this part. So before that, I'll show you like you know what all namespaces we have in my cluster. So as per default, I have the all or uh, very default things if you're creating the um, you know Kubernetes cluster on top of GKE. Till this point, all are similar, but here we have created all the resources uh, of Kubeflow instead of this, uh, you know, Kubeflow namespace. That's why I mentioned Kubeflow get pods hyphen and Kubeflow, uh, sorry, kubectl get pods hyphen and Kubeflow. Now it is on all pending state. If I just press again, I have to see uh, it has to be, uh, you know, container creating state. So what I will do, I'll pause the video. I think it won't, it will take a long time to, you know, finish it off. And it will take a little while. I'll pause it and resume it once it is finished. Okay, let's see uh, what is the pod status. Yeah, so all the pods are getting running. So we need to have this pod, uh, which is ML uh, pipeline UI, where our UI application is getting run here. So fine, like you know, currently we have this, and let's see what all services we have inside. Kubectl get uh, svc hyphen and kubeflow. So with the default, like, you know, while you're installing Kubeflow, it will come up with the cluster IP. If you see this one, we have the cluster IP. Now we'll change this as a load balancer. For that, we just have a, you know, a simple command. We'll copy it. So we just edited the, uh, that respected, uh, you know, Kubeflow UI service from cluster IP to, uh, you know, load balancer. So here it is a cluster IP. So we need to change it. I'll go with the uh, VI editor. I'll go with the uh, insert mode. Uh, L hats to be capital load B A L A N C E R load balancer fine so B has to be capital escape shift colon right and click and now it has been changed let's see like you know uh, the service cubes will get service iPhone and flow and now it has been changed as a load balancer and if I do watch uh, I'll give a watch for this only we'll get one external IP for that where we can use that IP to connect with the uh, you know UI service. Now it is in pending state. So within fraction of a second, it will expose one IP address. So we can connect that IP address. We can see the key flow UI, uh, like pipeline experiments, everything. Okay. Yeah, we got the, uh, like an external IP. I'm going to copy this. So let me go to the browser and paste over here. So initially, uh, it will take time to get it load because it has to map with the backend service. So it can give a multiple retries. And finally, it will get assigned to the backend service and we can see the ML Qflow UI over here. Come on, buddy. Let me refresh this again. Let me go with the incognito and search for this IP address. In your case, this is the one external IP. So it has to be worked. And if not, with the multiple tries, we need to go and check the pod. Is there any restarts has been happening? And let's see, are there any restarts has been happening? So UI, yeah, so there is some issues with the port. So we have three restarts, but currently it has been running. But need to check why it has not been giving the response back with the respected IP address, which is external IP uh, in our case. CTL get SVC. Qflow, sorry, the flag has been iPhone N, we need to specify that. So this is the IP address, which is external, and it has to work. Yeah, now it has been working. 
So might be the uh, cache where it has to map in the backend. So that's why it has not been, you know, instantly getting connected. If we go to this incognito, it has to work here also. So we have the uh, amazing UI related to pipelines, experiments, runs, and you know, recursive runs and artifacts. So we have everything here. And you know, even if you re uh, refresh it, so we'll access to the same page over here. So this is how we can uh, make up and running of your, uh, you know, Qflow pipeline UI. And currently it has not been uh, followed HTTPS. That's why it is showing as, uh, you know, not secure. And, you know, you can follow this very basic commands to run and install it on your Kubernetes cluster. And you can go with your own way of, you know, the customization security like RBACs and also you can enable that on, on your Qflow and, you know, you can make a customization. So by following this, you know, pipeline, we have the another steps like, you know, if you'd like to go with the Kubeflow pipeline versions like 0 0.2.0 and 0, you can go with these commands. And, you know, if you'd like to go with the less than of 0 0.2.0, you can use this. And, you know, and if you like to upgrading any Kubeflow, so you can take with these uh, commands. And if you'd like to, you know, customize the Kubeflow pipeline, you can follow this, uh, you know, uh, the basic uh, steps and you can customize it at the end if you'd like to uninstall it so you can uninstall the key flow over here so this is how like guys like you know you can uh you know you can access the key flow pipeline over here and you know you can enable your uh, key flow uh, experiments here and you know you can run all your experiments you can run all your key flow pipeline so i hope it is clear for you like you know installing of key flow on top of kubernetes cluster and uh, if you like this video, I request you to share and subscribe to my channel, Code Kamakaji, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.